Welcome back to the Crochet Kratos with my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're gonna spice it up or cool it down aka otherwise known as the Striping Hound's Tooth Crochet Blanket. Now this is using Bernat uh, Breezy Yarn. There are two different yarn balls in play at the same time to give you the striping effect. If the colors end up being the same color on the balls, so both colors happen to be having something similar, you're going to want to end the one ball and move to the next color which I'll, I will talk about. But this is a very easy two pattern repeat as far as like two row repeat idea. If you would like to change the size of this particular blanket, it's in multiples of two plus one. So you go two, two, two and when you're satisfied just add one extra chain at the end and you will have the balance. Let's take a closer look at this yarn today. So here is Yarn Inspiration's Bernat Blanket Breezy and you can see the fun step that it can do here. So it has a long striping so you're gonna have two different balls. One will be a different color than the other ball and when you're mixing them and matching them that's what the striping is happening on this. So if both balls happen to have a color that is the same that's where you're gonna wanna end one color. So let's for example they have this blue it is already in play from another ball and you're using this ball. You wanna just, just put this out, pull this out and just advance to the next color and just save this so when you can use this later. So you don't have to like when I say later use it in the same project. So it's not something that you have to waste a lot of yarn with. So it's actually kind of a cool idea. But for tutorial reasons it's harder to teach with the fluffy stuff so you can see it here on YouTube. So what I'm going to do is just switch off to Karen Cakes just to demonstrate this particular stitching technique today. To get started today you'll be using the Bernat Blanket Breezy Yarn or you can use another yarn, it's up to you. And you'll use a five millimeter size H crochet hook or just use the recommended uh, yarn size on the ball if you are using a different yarn. So you can just start off with the slip knot and you can either chain 139 for the exact size so that it'll give you a 46 inch wide by 60 inches long or what you can just do is in sets of two and then add one at the end. So you can say one and two and one and two, 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 one and two. And when you're satisfied with it just add one more. So just say one and then that's where your story is going to start and you'll begin row number one. Let's begin row number one now. To begin row number one you're going to go second chain from the hook. So just count it back. So one and two and get the back hump of the stitch work itself. So of the chain and you're going to single crochet in the back hump of the, of the second one from the chain. The next one then will be a double crochet and then the next one will be a single crochet and that's all you need to know. So it's gonna be double, you can say in your head and then the next one is a single and then a double and a single. And I want you to do that all the way down your chain and meet me back here in just a moment. Now I'm coming all the way to the end and I'm still doing my double, my single, my double. The very last stitch should be a double crochet. Now watch what I do at the end of this one here is that we start off and we start double crocheting and then pull through two but this is where I wanna switch off to the other color. So get the other color ready for you and you're going to use that color and put it on. So start off with a slip knot so you can have something secure right off the hop. and then you're gonna put that onto your hook and then use that color to finish off. So you have a nice clean start for your next row. Do not fasten off anything, okay. You might wanna get your, rid of your yarn tails in just a little bit but you wanna keep your yarns in play for the whole thing. So turn your work and get the yarn that you just uh, joined ready and get this one also ready, the one that, the other one that's leading to the ball because we need to do something with that in order to keep this look. Now the last stitch that we just did in here was a double crochet. So the stitch that has to start has to be a single crochet in order to keep the balance. So you can, will be able to see what is a single crochet and what is a double. So if you look at this carefully, see how there's a lot more there? That's a double crochet. This must be a single. So when it's all bunchy looking that's a double and when it's more um, hollowed out that's a single. So when you go to start the first one you're going to just chain one and take the other yarn strand and we need to take it with us so that it's ready for us on the other side. So let's begin. So when you go into the first stitch it's gonna be a single crochet on top of the double crochet that we're sitting in and we're going up over top of the strand. 
and we're just single crocheting right over, over top of that. So it's gonna get hidden underneath. So that means the next one has to be a double and then so the next one has to be a single. So it's still the same idea of going back and forth. So it's a double and a single. So you're taking that blue strand with you and once in a while just tug on it so that it gets rid of any looseness in it and if you look at it you can just see it. You can feel it with your finger. You feel that this is more hollowed out so it has to be a double and the other one is a single. And just once in a while just tug on that one that's being dragged across the top to hide it in. And the reason why we're taking it with us is that we need it to be ready for the next row and if you have left it over here it won't be sitting and waiting for you. It'll be on the wrong side of the project. So this stitch combination is creating what is called is the hound's tooth and this is used in a lot of clothing etc. So your very last stitch remember what it should be. It should be a double crochet. So it's a double crochet right in the last one and when you go to do it you pull through two. Don't finish it. Drop this yarn here that you've been playing with and grab the blue and then finish it and that is row number two and tighten everything up. Make sure everything is tight before you uh, turn and start because you'll see any imperfections that you will have um, later on if the yarn has not been pulled taut. Let's begin row number three. So row number three we're back on this blue yarn so you chain up one and like we've done before the last one was a double crochet that went in. So we're going to put in a single into the first one and we're going right up over top of this strand now all the way back to the other side. So if that was a, a, um, a single this one has to be a double. So a single and a double and a single and a double. And then just pull on it once in a while. And so you're doing this all the way across. So this is helping to give your uh, project a little bit more thickness as well in the stitch work. So you'll notice that will be happening as well. And your very final one if you're keeping count should be a double. So you're just going in pull through, drop it and then grab this other color and pull through. And that was completing row number three. So the trick is is that you wanna keep these ball yarn balls separate from each other so that they don't get tangled. So you're gonna turn your work and then begin and repeat row number two once again. To start row number two again is just chain up one. We know that we're sitting on top of a double so it has to be a single on top and we trap this yarn in immediately. So that was a single, the next one has to be a double and you're just taking the yarn with you. Neat idea right? So on the Bernat like a breezy version is actually gonna look really awesome if you do that. So I really like to look at the blanket. It really quite surprised me. Okay so this is row number two. And then finally the last one is a double crochet and remember to switch it over and then we'll move on to row number three and then I'll show you how to fasten off. Okay so you wanna make sure everything is nice and taut and you see the look. So one side looks a bit different than the other. So let's uh, begin and this is row number three. So just chain up one. We're sitting on top of a double so this one has to be a single to start. And then just go all the way across. So eventually you'll have your up to your 60 inches done as far as the length and then or you can make it any length that you wish. It's up to you. So this is the end of row number three which would be the final of the blanket if you were to say that you were gonna finish. To finish this off completely then all you're just going to do is just trim both yarns. Trim them enough that you can throw them through a tapestry needle. So the one you've been dragging through you're gonna start with that. So I'll just demonstrate it just with ones. Most of you have been with me a long time. You know how to fasten in your yarn but by now. Okay so just putting it on there and just drag it through the same color just up and underneath the stitch. So drag it and don't change the shape of it. So when you pull it make sure it's taut but not pulling it down. Okay and goes twice and then third time is a charm. So you wanna stay within the stitch work itself. 
and then you can just trim it. So the next one that you would do, you would do the same with the blue. Just drag it, don't drag it across the edge. Just go inside the stitch work back and forth the total three times and then you can have this. So it looks really cool and because this is uh, the Karen Cakes, let me just zoom you out a little bit here. Because it's the Karen Cakes that you see, you would see that the colors would change in on their own just like they would with Bernat to Blanket Breezy and I think it's something that's kind of fun and you can play with. So this is the Striping Hound's Tooth Crochet Blanket. Spice it up or cool it down. See ya.